guys, what's up? I hope that you are all having an awesome day. Thank you for watching my new Saturday video. And today I'm going to be showing you my favorite lip products for the springtime. I have a whole bunch of them here just because lip products are my favorite. It's my favorite thing to change out. I never like stick to one thing on an everyday basis. I just absolutely love lipsticks and lip glosses and lip stains, all of that stuff. So I couldn't decide on, I was going to do like five because that's sort of what I've been doing, like five spring something, but I couldn't decide so I just decided to show you all of them. <laughs> I hope that you don't mind. Um, but also I wanted to say I got a haircut and I knew that I was probably going to get a few comments about it. So yes, I cut my hair so now it is pretty short. Uh, um, I actually love it though and I think it'll be really nice in the summer because it won't be as like big and heavy. And I really like it. My friend Becca cut it for me. I just like on a whim was like, you know what? I want my hair short. And it was sort of inspired by uh, Claudia Beyond Beauty Star because her hair looks so good short. And so I was sort of like asking my roommates, like holding my hair at the length I wanted it. And I was like, do you think this will look good? And they said it would. And I think it came out pretty awesome. I really, really like the length. And hey, it's just hair. Like it'll grow. So whatever. <laughs> So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the lip colors. So I'm going to start off with lipsticks first. I have three lipsticks to show you here. The first one is a Kat Von D lipstick that I have had for forever and I love it. It's called Celebitard and um, this is a really pretty light pink natural color. I think that this is great for an everyday basis sort of deal. Um, it's super, super pretty and uh, just a really great neutral color to have. The next two lipsticks are both Maybelline lipsticks, which if you have ever heard me talk about lipsticks, which is like constantly in my videos, you know that Maybelline has my favorite formula. So this first one here is called Coral Crush, and it's a really pretty coral color. It's not too corally where it looks too orangey, so if you're sort of scared to go more orange, this is a really great color for you because it still has a lot of pink in it, and I love this. I used this in a spring tutorial that I filmed today that will be going up on Tuesday. And the other one is this one from Maybelline. It's called Vivid Rose, and it is a bright pink color. This is a really bold choice, uh, but I think it's really great, and this bright pink is perfect for the springtime. I also have two lip crayons to show you. So this first one is from Drew Barrymore's Flower Collection, and it is... Um, basically as natural and light as you can go while still adding a little bit of color to your lips. It adds the tiniest bit of pink color and then glitter to your lips. And I really like glitter in the springtime. I think like big chunky glitter in the spring is sort of fun to play around with. So I really love this and it does say that it's a lip tint. So really it only tints your lips slightly. It's very, very natural. And the other one is my Be A Bombshell Lip Crayon and this is in the color Shameless. And I like this for a red springtime color because it does have a lot of pink in it and once again, has a lot of sparkles in it, like big chunky sparkles. So um, I think that this is great for the springtime because of the sparkles and also because it is a more pink toned red. It's not like that bright or darker wintry red. Hello cell phone. I also have two color whispers to show you. Color whispers are really great for everyday wearage. I just think that they're super ideal. Um, this is one, this was my very first color whisper and it is in the color Pin Up Peach and it's just a really pretty pink corally color. It's very similar to um, the color of this. Oh, whoops, that's not it. It's very similar to the color of this coral lipstick. Um, as you can see, they both sort of have that pinky coral look. This one is obviously much more pink than this one um, because it's not supposed to be corally, but I still think it has a nice coral feel to it, and um, it just has a little bit more pink in it. It goes on really sheer. It's super moisturizing. I absolutely love it. Um, once again, it's Maybelline Color Whisper. Maybelline just makes the best lip products, in, um, in my opinion. I like it better than most like high-end lip products. I will go for Maybelline any day. So I absolutely love this. And then the other Color Whisper is called Cherry on Top, and my friend Kaylee got this for me, and it's just a little bit of a bolder one. It's gonna show up a little bit more than this one does. This just adds, once again, a nice, light gentle pink flush to your lips whereas this one does make a little bit more bold but once again it almost just feels like chapstick on your lips um super moisturizing it's only going to add a little bit of color whereas a, like in comparison to a bold lipstick and lastly, I have a lip tint and a lip gloss. So this lip tint is from Benefit. It's called Poisy Tint. This has been around for forever, so I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, but I really like this, not only as just a starting base to put other lip products on top of, but also it's great for long days because it does tint your lips. It lasts for a really long time. It just adds a really nice, pretty pink look to your lips, and it looks very natural. It looks very much like your lips are just naturally that pretty, soft pink color. So I really like that. And then I have this lip gloss, which which is from Pop Beauty and it is in the color color Peony Petal. Peony 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 Petal Petal. What? Can I speak? That that's the real question. 
Um, the answer is no, by the way. <laughs> but anyway, it's just a sort of um, darker pink lip gloss. It really does add a good amount of color to your lips, so um, you can add a little bit for just a little bit of a sheer color and sort of spread it out using your finger, or you can get a pretty bold lip color, whoops, as I throw it, using that lip product. That lip product has just been a mess the whole time that I've been talking about it. <laughs> So I know I ran through all of those at pretty quick pace, so if you have any questions about them, feel free to ask me down below. But I hope that you enjoyed this video, and please don't forget to leave requests for more spring videos down below, as well as following my Twitter and Instagram. Thank you all again for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!